Hey guys, this is Crypto Marie. She does it all, a little bit of everything. I'm at the park working out after I drop off my son. After I post my YouTube videos on Tonic, I said, you know what? I work later on, but I'm not doing much. Let me do a little bit of workout. But then at the same time, I was checking some of my comments and I realized somebody asked me to prove something. And listen, from now on, I'm not gonna always respond to some comments that sometimes make no sense. Probably makes sense to some people, but not to me. If the comments is too general, too broad, uh, we're gonna leave it alone, okay? But this one, because I grew up in a religious background, and also I also had a part of my family that also believe in the other side. So I kind of like blend in the middle. I trust in God, I believe in God, but this is the reason I said I will never discuss religion, race, countries, because I have experienced some backflash on some people were not happy when I was saying thank you to Africa. I even lost um, subscribers because of that. And it's okay. I'm only going to respond to this because the person asked me to prove a verse or show a verse in the Bible that stated you are not supposed to gambling. To me, that's too general. That's too broad. But coming from a religious background and also on the other side, I grew up in Haiti. I came here when I was 16. And I've been here long enough to realize there's a lot of stuff that I allow here, not allow in my country. And it's okay. You adapt. You learn to adapt. Now, I might not be able to bring you one specific verse that said not to gambling, not to drink, not to do um, uh, drugs, uh, not to sell your body with all the respect for whatever reason you're doing it, which is prostitution. Yeah, in the Bible, they mention a lot about prostitution, a lot of different things. But does, that, does it say... It was okay to go do those things? I don't think so. So the same way you asked me to prove your verse or give you a verse in the Bible that says that you cannot gamble in, I also would like you to also give me a verse that said it was okay to do those things. I remember there was a time that preachers, pastors in this country or wherever you go to church or, or you follow those people, they were not even allowed to talk about financial freedom. They were not even allowed to say how much money they have. Until recently, people start talking about they have jets, they have books, they have movies, they have all kind of stuff. And it's okay to be wealthy, to be a believer, to be a Christian. It's okay. God don't want no, no, you know, don't want you to suffer financially. And people find a way to make money. Some people are educated. We have lawyers. We have doctors. And I watch a quote from Dr. Martin Luther King where he said, I watch it on TikTok. Yeah, I'm a big TikTok fan. There's so much you can learn from it. Where he said, yes, we have doctors here. We have PhD. We have lawyers. We have uh, all kind of people educated here. But when the preachers are preaching, they mention all those people and they forgot the regular people are also normal. And he also said, you come to church to forget about your PhD. You come to church to forget about your doctor degree. You come to church to forget about your lawyer degree. Okay, when you're in church, everybody together. Everybody become one. Again, I might not be able to bring one verse to you where it said not to gambling, not to do drugs, not to do uh, prostitution, not to, not to drink. But from where I came from, it was never okay to go around partying, do whatever you want, uh, 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 and then Sunday morning or Saturday morning, you go to church and praise the Lord. Yes, this is a different culture, a different background. I remember where I came from, which is Haiti. It wasn't even allowed to go to church with pants. You only could wear dresses and a suit, which is skirt and a top. So, of course, things changed now. I left Haiti for a good, you know, like 20, almost whatever, 30 something years. Things changed now. It might be different now, but where I came from, the Things that I remember, those are certain things you could not do. And if people that know you, see you drinking, dancing, they will tell the pastor on you. And Sunday morning, you will not be getting that. Um, it's something in the Catholic church they give you. Even sex without marriage was not allowed. 
and some religion. Again, I'm only responding to that because when the person asked me to prove a verse, I would have to go really deep in the Bible to read to see, okay, here it says not to do this, not to do that. But again, I'll be wasting my time with this person because that person tried to prove a point. It, that's why I don't cover religious, I don't cover politics, I don't cover race, I don't cover countries now because for some reason, you will find something that disagree with you. You will find somebody that said, uh-uh, that's not right. And you will find somebody that agreeing with you. At the end of the day, it is an opinion. I think we take things too serious. We go too deep into things. If you want to gamble, that's your business. That's your problem. It is America. Wherever you are, I don't know where you are. I am in America. You have freedom to do a lot of stuff, especially if you have money in your pocket, you want gamble, you gamble. Like the lottery ticket, uh, the lottery to me is the worst scam ever, in my opinion. Because you buy, you don't have a chance of winning. But people have faith they will win. They put their money in it. The scratch off, same thing. I stopped playing. I was playing for 21 years. I never really get anything. The closest I got was four numbers. They give me $140. Get out of their faces. I couldn't do crap with $140. I stopped. Now I'm into crypto. I love crypto. I see crypto have a future in it. I am one of the first of all the group, the 10% that started to invest in crypto. We know we're going to make it out of it. So if I said... God don't like gambling. I cannot prove to you a specific verse where it says not to gamble. You want to gamble? That's fine. I choose to do it. Okay? And I never, never want to ever have to discuss politics, religion, race, and country ever again in this channel because somebody will come out and disprove me wrong or right. And I don't have time for the crap. Again, we're going to keep it moving. We're going to end up with a positive note tectonic is doing amazing we're gonna get to the finish line i don't like politics i don't like um to talk about religion race country because at the end of the day it could end up ugly and i want to stay beautiful i'm sorry guys i'm at the park i'm working out i'm sweating <laughs> It's crazy. But at the same time, sometimes you feel like, you know what, I need to respond to this now. And of course, some people are not going to like it. Some will like it. At the end of the day, I am here to talk about crypto. If I mention something you don't like, we're going to keep it moving. Don't forget to subscribe. Share the message. And we're going to keep on investing. Not financial advice. Always do your own research, your own due diligence before you purchase any coin. And again, we're going to stay cute and beautiful, working out, do your thing, because we have to be healthy, wealthy to live the life of a millionaire, because soon we are going to become millionaire. Invest. Do your research. May God bless you all. God don't like ugly. Stop the madness. I cannot prove one verse, but God don't like ugly. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Crypto Marie, she does it all, a little bit of everything. I'm in the swing. Sometimes I have my son in the swing. Now I'm the one swinging. <laughs> it feels good. Sometimes it feels good to feel like a kid again for one minute, isn't it? Forget about the bills. Forget about all the struggle. <laughs> Forget about living paycheck to paycheck. You just want to be a kid again. And stop the madness, y'all. Welcome back. All the people that want to talk about tonic because more people talk about it more people are going to invest and before we know it we'll end up in the finish line bye y'all hasta la vista woohoo crypto marie she does it all a little bit of everything i love you all bye <laughs>